Good afternoon and welcome to POG. This is Kim. I hope everybody's enjoying their summer. This is June 23rd. It is about 75 degrees in Philadelphia. And today we're talking about hostas. So one of the misconceptions about hostas is that they can't do full sun. Mine have been in full sun since birth um, and they've been here 15 years. This is a new one that I just placed here. Um, she, that's why she's so much smaller. Um, but these have been here 15 plus years. And then I have some more in my backyard and I have some more in my further back. Now, remember that yes, they may not like full sun. You may have to water them twice. You may have noticed that they start dying off and all you have to do is take your shears. If you don't like that yellow one and cut that piece off. Now, when I cut off, like I told you in other videos, when I cut off, I leave it there because it provides nutrients to the soil. It makes the soil rich. So I'm just gonna stick it down inside the flower, cutting off the ones that I don't like. Again, what I do in mine is mine and what you do in yours is yours. If you wanna not put it in the full sun, don't put it in the full sun. I love watering my flowers. I water them all the time. Um, also, the purple is the flowering. It draws the beads. This is what pollination is for. You need to have this part. Now, if you look here, this one has died off. So what I'll do is I'll cut it off. And again, I stick it down in the soil. Okay, and I'm gonna cut this one off. And I'm gonna cut this one off because they look raggedy. And it's too early in the season for it to be raggedy. Okay. Hostas are one of the most popular gardening, um, one of the most popular gardening plants. They're used for borders. I personally wish I hadn't put out hostas 15 years ago, only because they took over. And now it's really hard to pull them up. I mean, you can pull them up in the spring, but at this point, I wouldn't even try it. It takes too much work. Not me anyway. Again, what you do is what you do. Um, when when you decide to put them in in the spring or in the spring if you decide to split them you can just chop right through the bulb and then separate them make sure you do it in the spring or the fall don't do it in the summer the summer heat will destroy them it will make them so weak that they can't handle it that you can't give them enough water um i really this is my opinion again i really don't like seeing you move or transplant plants in the middle of the summertime it makes it difficult for them to survive um, as you can see i'm trying to look through my book because you know i always have notes for you about our plants and everybody always says well what do you put in a journal i put all kinds of stuff in my journal and we'll talk about journals a little later they come in pink they come in blues they even come in purples um, they say shade but mine are in full sun great pollinators they like rich well fertile soil they are toxic to dogs and cats. They need at least six weeks of temperature under 45 degrees. That's so that that bulb can get that nutrients that it needs and that means cold weather. You know, they like that cold temperature in the spring. Uh, deers, unfortunately, love hostas. So if you are planting in a place where there are a lot of deers, hosta would not be the plant for you because they will come and they will use this as a buffet. But if you do choose to put down hostas, surround it with coffee, the grinds usually keep it away or non-washed eggshells non-washed because the smell of the yolk is what keeps the uh, deer away okay um so do slugs and snails they love hostas if you notice that you're getting a slug or snail infestation you can take care of that by putting down some rocks putting down some mulch or even putting out a can of beer um okay I have seen people try to grow hostas in pots. It's not my favorite, but if that's what you want to do again, that's up to you. You can grow them in the pots. And I can see, I've also seen people try to do them in the house, but I just think if you want a real hosta that gives you the real natural growth and beauty, you want to make sure you're putting it in the ground. Thank you and have a nice day.